Washington, Joe Biden, a fixture in American politics who won last November's election on a promise to reset the response to the coronavirus pandemic and return calm to the White House, will be sworn in Wednesday as the nation's 46th president. The former vice president and veteran U.S. senator from Delaware will recite the 35-word oath of office enshrined in the Constitution at noon, capping the most rancorous post-election period in modern history and marking an abrupt departure from President Donald Trump's tumultuous four years as an unconventional leader of the free world. Biden enters the White House after winning more than 81 million votes, roughly 7 million more than Trump, and as his Democratic Party takes control of the Senate and retains its majority in the House, a unified government that represents a complete reversal from the Republican rule of Washington ushered in just four years ago. It's hard sometimes to remember, Biden said on the eve of his inauguration at a coronavirus memorial held at the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool. But that's how we heal. It's important to do that as a nation. That's why we're here. The new president's administration will make history before it even steps into the White House, most notably because Vice President-elect Kamala Harris of California will have been sworn in as become the first woman, African-American and South Asian-American to assume the vice presidency. Biden, 78, is also the oldest person in U.S. history to become president. The pandemic, meanwhile, forced organizers to encourage supporters to stay away. The January 6 riot at the U.S. Capitol has put law enforcement on high alert, with more than 25,000 National Guard members called in to help with security, large fences erected near the National Mall and a complete lockdown imposed in parts of Washington. Trump left the White House for his Florida club at 8.18 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, taking his final flight on Marine One and Air Force One. Speaking for nine minutes at Joint Base Andrews in suburban Maryland, Trump wished Biden success, without using his name, and touted his administration's accomplishments. The optics of the departure from the White House was highly unusual, a sitting president generally travels to the U.S. Capitol for the inauguration of a successor. Then, the former president generally accompanies the new president to the Capitol and lifts off from there, a symbol of the peaceful handover of power. I wish the new administration great luck and great success. I think they'll have great success," Trump told a few hundred supporters gathered at the base outside Washington. They have the foundation to do something really spectacular. Trump couldn't quite let the election go. Pointing to the 2017 tax cut bill, an early legislative achievement, Trump said he hoped the new administration didn't raise taxes. But if they do, I told you so, he said.